Hey y'all, I'm Chanel and I'm a realtor with Your Home Sold Guaranteed. I've been asked numerous times if it's better to rent or buy. So I thought I'd do a video. Don't judge me because I don't have any makeup on because Delta lost my bag yesterday on my flight from Orlando. But anyway, here's my story. I was 23. I was living in an apartment in Atlanta, paying $1,500 for rent, splitting it between me and my roommate. But by the time the bills hit, I was paying another two to $300. And truthfully, it was just going down the drain. I remember thinking back then, like, what is the average age to buy a house? Like, could I buy a house? Because the truth was, I was like spending my money every single month, paying, let's say, roughly an average of $1,000 a month, split with my roommate. So, together, we was paying about $2,000. So, I remember talking to her and telling her that I wanted to buy a house. But then I was like, where do I start? And really, truly, would it be better to rent or buy? So, I started researching must have good credit, must not have much debt, and so much forth. But as I kept Googling, I just saw a whole bunch of pop-ups of a whole bunch of houses with not really any direction. Nobody was physically talking to me. So I kept looking. I researched over and over again, is it better to rent or buy? The truth was, there were like mixed reviews. Here's what I gathered from my experience. Buying is a lot better than renting. And like... The truth is, people really don't know that they can buy because there's just not enough education out there. I was doing the math because I'm a numbers person, graduated with an accounting degree. If I was throwing about $1,000 a month into an apartment, and if you add my roommates half, about roughly $2,000 a month into an apartment, over 12 months, we've spent like $24,000 together. That means I've spent about $12,000 myself. That money, I had nothing to show for other than a cute apartment that I used to take pictures in. But outside of that, I didn't have anything. Just somewhere I lived. But what if I took that $12,000 and put it in the house? I would have a little bit of skin in the game and, you know, ownership. So it was simple math that was literally making me go crazy. It was pushing me over the edge. And I was like, where the heck is my money going? So I really just decided I was going to sit back. And for like two months, I searched. And then I honestly bought a house. But the process was not even that hard. Like one of the first things that I had to do was reduce my debt and increase my credit score. Sounds simple, but I researched that and around the time I realized it was about 660. So I simply had to reduce my debt. So I had two credit cards. One was roughly about $800. One was about $600 and I paid them both off, realizing that I got a little boost in that. So reducing the debt really, really did help my credit score and put me in a better position for a good interest rate. So then after that, I made sure I saved a little money to set up for my down payment. I done some research, realized that like different loans were about 3.5% minimum, but my goal was to just to save, just to save as much as I could save. And if you do need help with saving, I do have a video on that. You can watch it on my YouTube channel. It's on how to save and invest money. I give 10 really good steps that can help you. So anyway, after doing that, I did another thing, which was I did a conservative budget. I gave up things. I asked my friends if we could do activities that honestly cost less money. And I chilled more at home, had girls night, still turned up, but we turned up at the house instead of the club, paying $100, you know, by the time you bought an outfit, went out. So the truth is you can save money and then those habits will help you save money once you get into the house too. So those are just some of the things that I did to prepare. But if you want some more things, that's fine. You can just download the checklist because on my checklist, I'll show you how it's easier to rent. I mean, how it's easier to buy instead of rent. Because the truth is buying really, really is better than renting. Just don't get intimidated because you feel like you're either too young or too old or you have bad credit or whatever because honestly, all of it is fixable. You literally just have to make the decision that the numbers of renting don't make sense for your situation because they might for you, but if they don't, 
then you need to make that decision and go after it. You never really know how close you are to buying a home if you never actually try, right? So I didn't know and I turned out fine. I've been a homeowner for five and a half years. So just remember, if you want that checklist to help you just start realizing what the next steps are, what to do, you just need to click the link below. Remember, these things work for me, so it will also work for you. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Please subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, and you know, I look forward to seeing y'all the next time. I'll try to put as much content as I can out here and try to start sharing more tips and tricks and all these good stuff. So don't forget, click the link at the bottom if you really do want to get that checklist, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.